one of England's leading actresses who's here on this side. She's Hilda Baker. We've got the prizes there. If you stand there, I'll collect them. That's the way the money goes. I've got <laughs> Am I not in it? Yes, you're in it. <laughs> um, now, how do we know which these are? This is an extraordinary regular affair. There's the, there's the, the first prize. There's the first prize for the dog. Oh, the first prize for the dog. And it goes to it goes to to Spoodle, who is there. Spoodle. That's Spoodle. If you'd like to deliver it into, into Mrs. Bonnard. Can I present you with the first prize for Spoodle? Thank you very much. She's not called Spoodle. The dog's called Spoodle. I said for Spoodle. I said for. I said for Spoodle. Didn't I? Yes. And hold on. Here's a prize yes. for Perky. For that, Perky. The minor bird Perky. The minor bird? The minor bird that way. As yeah. for the talking, isn't it? The talking bird. What's gone on with the parrots? <laughs> have they lost? The parrots have lost out. Oh, they have lost out. And the, and the minor bird perky, and that's the winner. Well, I have the greatest of pleasure in presenting the prize to you yeah. for your minor bird perky. Right, we're going to go down. We're going to go down. We've had a lot of lady guests on the programme tonight. Thank you. Of whom you are the last. Oh. And uh, can I say how, much, how, how, how overcome I am by things you're wearing? Yes, well, uh, I thought it would be a change to dress myself up proper and come out the front way. <laughs> <laughs> what would you normally be dressed in? Uh, well, a pinny and that, you know. And, uh, <laughs> And your hair up in and pins. And an ordinary dress, you know. No, no, I don't usually have my hair up in pins. I have it done proper. And I do it myself. You pay a lot for normally. it? Normally. No, I've had a, I've paid a lot for this. You've done it special? Had it done special? Mm, of course. This afternoon? No, a bit earlier on. This morning? This morning. The last time I saw you on television mm -hmm. uh, surprised me a lot because I saw you whizzing down a street in a chauffeur-driven car. You were whizzed up to Thames Television and something very strange happened to you. It certainly did. Which was, you were the chief guest on that week's This Is Your Life. That's right, yeah. And you knew nothing about that? I did not, no. Well, I was on my way uh, to uh, Thames Television uh, to uh, talk about comedians. And I had just left rehearsals from Nearest and Dearest, and my mind was full of that. And then when I got into the car, and I suddenly realized that I was supposed to be talking about comedians, my agent was with me and I said, what's this? Who am I to talk about other comedians? I said, what's all this nonsense? I said, what am I going to say? I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> However, eventually, we, we, we pulled up, you see, outside there, and uh, BBC, wasn't it? No, what? no, it's Thames, Thames, Thames. I get mixed get up. Get yourself I get mixed up. <laughs> anyway, pulled up outside. What are you shuffling around for? Is well, it it's hot. It's a hot seat. <laughs> well, the dog's been sat on it. Oh, that's it, the oh. dog. Anyway, I pulled up and I said, my goodness, there are a lot of people there. You see, and there must be something on, and it was me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. what, what happened then? Well, my legs went from under me, and uh, Emin, Emin Andrews said, and, well, Emin Andrews said, this is your life, Elder Bacon. My legs went from under me. And I said, oh, no. And uh, I was almost prostitute on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> where, did, where did all your northern bits come from? I mean, you were born in the north, obviously. Everybody, course, everybody yeah. knows that. Yes. Uh, did, you, did you work a lot there before you set off all over the country? Uh, no, not really. Uh, my first uh, appearance on the stage was in the opera. At the Opera House, Tunbridge Wells, actually. Well, that's a very posh area to be appearing. Yes, I haven't been there since. <laughs> <laughs> Although, a strange thing, I was a very big success because I was first turn on the uh, Monday night, first house, and second house, I was moved to third term, which is really an honour, you see, uh, to be a moved. meteoric rise. Yeah, absolutely. Me Meteorothy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did yes. you, work, you worked it alongside or with or behind your dad as well, didn't you? Oh, no, by myself, on no, my own, nobody was, with me. But your dad was, was instrumental in pushing you forward and helping you. My dad got me the date. My dad saw me do a, a concert for uh, so, so some charity concert, you see, and he said, oh, uh, she's wasting the time, uh, and he booked me 
in the Opera House Tunbridge Wells. But just like that, without any... Just like that, yes. What and did you do in those days? What, what kind of... Well, I sang, so, sang and danced, you see. I did, um, I started off... Uh, tap or ballet? Oh, a tap. Uh, what do you mean, tap or ballet? <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mind you, I've had a go, Joe. Don't worry yourself. I have a go to everything, me. Uh, yes, no, I did tap dancing. I know, I sang um, for a start off, you know, hello, how are you, how are you? How did that, how does that go? Hello, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Let me talk to Honolulu. Do ask her this. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Bye, well, let's be state. I can't wait to hear her reply. <laughs> for I've had to pawn every little thing I own. Home for New York, of Madeline. To phone from New York on the wireless telephone. So, hello, how are you? How are you? Good night. <laughs> Where in heaven's name did you pick up Big Cynthia, then? Oh, well, uh, that happened in the shows. You see, I ran my own shows from uh, 1940 until 1954, writing, producing, directing, and doing the lot. Sounds a bit big-headed, but it's really true. I did this. And, uh, of course, you know the war was on at that time, and it was very difficult to get people. And uh, I used to do a sketch where we joined uh, the forces, where the women joined the forces, you see. Now, um, <clears throat> it was called the, uh, the fire service was called the AFS, you see, in the first instance. And then it became uh, the National Fire Service. See, so my friend and I, we joined up, and this was how it happened. The sergeant, the, the um, what do you call it, sergeant? Um, Drill sergeant? No, no, the, the, the man who gets you, to get you, gets you in. Recruiting. First. Recruiting, that's it. <laughs> Uh, the recruiting sergeant came on, who was a woman, of course, because this was an all-woman show. He says, ladies of uh, whatever it might be, you see, we are here tonight on behalf of the women's section of the NFS. If there are any able-bodied women who in the building would care to join, and I used to say, yes, here we are, missus. I'm able and she's bodied. <laughs> and then we used to join up, right. you see, right. into the AFS. And uh, then, it, it, to, for, for a practice thing, uh, the ma Lady Mayoress used to jump from a burning building. <laughs> With a chain on? No, she, yes, well, she had a chain on, of course. <laughs> but you see, the, thing, the whole thing was, as I joined up, <laughs> I had a parcel in my hand, you see, and the recruiting sergeant said to me, what's that? And I said, that's uh, Mrs. Jackson's washing. <laughs> so she says, put it down. I said, put it down? She go raving mad. She said, on the floor. I said, on the floor? She'll go madder still. And I used to put it down. But everywhere she took us, when she was telling us what was happening in this fire, I used to pick this up and take it with me, you see. Right. So eventually, they said, now the uh, Lady Mayoress will jump from a six-storey building, which is on fire, you see, with the parachute, you see. <laughs> Well, the Lady Mayoress went to the top of the building to jump, and the parachute was in a similar parcel to Mrs. Jackson's washing. <laughs> Before any further disasters strike us, <laughs> can, I, can I say to you, thank you very much for joining me tonight. And also, good luck for the film of The Godmother, which I hear you're, you're about to make. Though oh, whether, yes. Whether there's any truth in that, I will wait to see. Oh, oh it is. It'll be a knockout. Yes, I hope so. Which, whereabouts is the Mafia in, in all that Godmother thing? Oh, we don't have that. The Rochdale Mafia. No. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> That's it, and it's good night from the biggest collection of birds I've ever had in this studio. It's good night from Rita Hunter, Hilda Baker, Vivian Martin, Phila Delore, and on the men's side, Michael York, and me, and all of you, good night. <laughs>